No, hold on one second. Yeah, hi, um, who am I speaking with? This is NBC News. Yeah, yeah, I want to talk to somebody. I, I don't want to talk to a machine. I want to talk to somebody because I'm, I'm, uh, I've been watching the Olympics and it's on MB MSNBC. That's you, right? Was Isn't this it? an Olympic question? Um, yeah, well, it's about, so aren't, aren't you guys having the Olympics on your channel? Yes. Yeah, so, um, anyway... And don't lie to me because I can see what's in front of my eyes. I'm watching like all these people, announcers and athletes. And as you're watching the the movie, I mean, you know, the TV, they're all of a sudden getting black eyes under their eyes. You know, they're all of a sudden getting like real time wrinkles and crinkles and sprinkles and bags and rags and humanly impossible sags and tags. And so that that has to be from the one only dad of all dads. Because why else would they get that? It's not special effects, is it? Yes, hello, my dear. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. Are you drastic? I, you know, I'm excited because the one and only humanly impossible fantastic is here like never before. The one and only forevermore. Are you excited about that like me, that cat in the hat? Hello? Excuse me? Are you excited and ignited and delighted like me, sweetie Petey, about that humanly impossible fact for all the heart? Hopefully you do not lack. And if you hang up on me, corrupt, it'll be 222 bad mad sad lifetimes for you for not being true blue. Are you picking up these humanly impossible clues? A yes or B no. And so I dare you to hang up on me, sweetie Petey, and the one and only God Almighty who you know is here in this modern day reality. And so please love at me, not con at me, to this person's phone. Because you do know this is coming all the way from Ohm. Would you A, agree or B, disagree with this soliloquy? Can I talk to Phil Griffin, please? Can I talk to Phil Griffin, please? Yes, hello, Phil Griffin, please. Hello? Hold on, I'm checking, hold on. Hello? Yes, hello, is Phil available? Hello? Hello, is Phil there? Hey, who is this? Hey, this is Peter, who's this? This is Courtney from Phil's office. Hi, Courtney. How are you? This is John Turtletub from Disney. I'm imitating sweeter Peter Palpin. You know the skin, the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way just jumps in. What do you think of my uh, impersonation? Is it good? Sorry, I can't hear you very well. You think my impersonation of sweeter Peter Palpin is good? It's John Turtletub at Disney. Don't you think I'm it's sorry, funny? You're laughing. not even laughing. No, I'm sorry. I can't hear you very well. You can't. No, I'm sorry. I just hear John. Really? Well, you could come on our documentary and sit on a modern-day lie detector test and say that you don't hear me, and you'll get a million dollars if you pass for not being crass and full of toxic gas. So would you like to do that? Hello? I have another question upon little introspection. Um, I've been watching the Olympics. You know how you have the Olympics on MSNBC and NBC? And so who's been wrinkling and crinkling and sprinkling and bagging and ragging and humanly impossible tagging all these athletes and all the announcers on the uh, Olympics? Is that a gimmick you guys are doing, putting black bags under everybody's eyes? Why do you do that? Can you tell me Sorry, that? Can, I, can you tell can me? You? Yeah, I was wondering about all those black eyes I'm watching the Olympics. And uh, am I the only one calling about that? In other words, it's turned right in front of your eyes in full view. That's going to be around forever and ever. How clever of the one only clever lever? You know who the one only clever lever is? You know who the one only God Almighty is in this modern day reality? Through the skin of Sweeter Peter Palpin, but also, as you could see from your broadcast, not through the skin of Sweeter Peter Palpin. Does that scare the light into any of you? Or are all of you still not true blue? 
because you don't want to accept these humanly impossible clues. How do you peruse in the one only smart and the one only heart? How are you charting your course with the one only source? Do you want to have a hell of a lot of remorse? How can you accept 222 bad mad sad lifetimes from the one only divine and the one only swine that you know for goddamn sure is doing these humanly impossible real-time rhymes and chimes in real time? Sir, I'm not sure what you want me to do to help you. Well, I'm interested in uh, despicable, deplorable, horrible, immorable souls out of control. Like, how do you get out of bed knowing that God is here for sure and he hates Sir? everybody who can't accept him in this modern day? Sir? Yeah. I'm asking you how that you would like me to help you. Well, now you can hear me, can't you? In other words, the pain is getting too insane and you realize the pain will stop if you There's talk to people. me, sweetie PD, right? Yeah, I was wondering um, who's putting those bags in real time on your broadcast. Is that special effects to make people look like Tyrannosaurus Rex? Sir? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm calling Steve and, um, and uh, your boss, Phil, because I, I want to know, um, you know, how, 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 you know, how, how you guys are do, putting those black bags on all those announcers and athletes, like those 16-year-old girls who are in um, gymnastics. Who's putting those black bags on their eyes? Because they didn't get in a fight because you could see it all of a sudden forming under their eyes, getting bigger and bigger. Like I was watching something today. With these two sir, funny I'm sorry, announcers. but I don't know what don't know what you're talking about. You know what black bags are. You know when someone gets in a fight and they get black. Yes, I know what that is. Okay, well, watch any of your broadcasts. Not any, but all the ones I have I don't seen. I see them. I'm sorry. Okay, well now you're hearing about it, so I want you to get back to me and tell me how that's happening. Unless you want to admit it right now, it's the one only king of all kings here in this modern day with that humanly impossible flight. You want to admit that to me, sweetie PDA? Yes or be no. In other words, Steven Spielberg's company admitted that uh, the movie my brother did on me is the most interesting and amazing movie in the history of the world because it stars God in my body. Are you really ready to admit that to me, that cat in the hat, like Marvin Levy did to my brother? Or are you going to be despicable, deplorable, horrible, and immorable towards God who you know is not a fraud? You don't want to applaud him because you're so insanely jealous of me, sweet or Peter Pelpin, just the skin he jumps in all the way from heaven. And just because of that fact, you're a fucking rat. Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me good? Yes. That's good. What's your name, my dear? Who's this? Oh, my name is Sweeter Peter Palpin. Who's this? Hello? Hang up, call up. Yes, Steve Kappas, please. This office is located in uh, New York. Steve Kappas's? Right. Well, I was just talking to his office a minute ago. I got, I got disconnected on my cell phone. What's the Steve New York what, 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 What's the New York number? Hold on, wait. Let me write this down. Wait. Two one two. Yeah. Four, 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 four. You can't connect me, right? No. Okay, and that's Steve Kappas' phone number? Correct. Okay, how about um, Mr. Backus? You know Mr. Backus? 212-664-4444? Right. Okay. Have you ever heard about the one and only forevermore through the skin of Sweeter Peter Palpin before? No. No? Really? Do you want to sit on a modern day lie detector test for a million dollars and if you pass for not being crass and full of toxic gas, you win a million dollars? All you have to do is say that you never heard of Sweetie Peter Poppin before this phone call. You want to do that? NBC <laughs> Yes, hello. Um, can I talk to uh, Mr. Backus, please? Who you need to speak to? Mr. Backus. Backus? What's 
That's the first or the last name? Last name. First name, Steve. Steve? Steven. Okay, Steve Backus. Yes. You Do you know where she partnered? Oh I'm sorry, I, I I'm sorry, my dear. It's um it's Steve Steve, Ka Steve Kappas, not Bacchus. Oh, okay. Well, thinking about that Bacchus, you know the Bacchus? The, <laughs> you know that what was his, the guy on um he was on that show a long time ago when I was uh, younger. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm I'm having a um a memory lapse, perhaps. <laughs> Office. This is Courtney. Hello, Courtney. How are you? Courtney? Good, ma'am. Yes? Yes, hi, my dear. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Who's calling? Yes, my name is, is Dr. Rostowski. And um, I'm doing a documentary, my dear, and I'm, I'm, I've been watching the Olympics. You know, I understand that NBC and CSNBC own the rights this year. And so um, I've been watching um, diligently every day, all day. And night. It's great. I love it. And um, I noticed that um, it's amazing to me, uh, uh, incredible. Um, while I'm watching the announcers and even those little 16-year-old Olympic girls, I'm watching them and all of a sudden they're getting black eyes like they got hit by Muhammad Ali back in the day r r right in front of me. It's, and, and so I wanted to call the president to, to, to find out what is that? Is that um, a gag you're doing over there? Sir, I just spoke with you. And you hung up, corrupt. Why would you do that? Hang up on someone just because their name is Peter Palpin. Is that a reason to hang up on somebody or is that sleazy? Sir, I asked you how I could help you. You did not give me an answer. I'm not sure what you need. You, you didn't ask me anything. You just hung up when I said my name. No, I did ask you. Well, I have it on recording. On in I other words, you're going to get paid for this kiss of pure, unadulterated bliss. This is a, a I documentary. I've been with you for quite some time, and you never gave me an answer as to why you were calling me. Well, I'm calling because about the um, real-time, humanly impossible age kings on worldwide TV for all the world to see. I want to find out if I could talk to um, Mr. Kappas and ask him what he thinks of that humanly Can impossible you hold fact. Can second, please? Yes. how to help you, but if you can give me your name and number, I can try and have someone give you a call back. I just, there's nothing else that I can help you with. Well, let me ask you your own opinion. Uh, what do you think of that God putting black bags under people's eyes in real time on your network? What do you think Sir, can I just get your phone number? No, for my documentary. In other words, everyone has an opinion, and even Sir? an opinion sin. You know what an opinion sin is? Hold on one second, please. Yeah. 802. Sir? Yes. 802. Yeah. 222. Okay. 0589. So and your name is? Sweeter Peter Palpin, just the skin, the love, the light, the love, the bright. And then one only just one jumps in. You know, the night of the light. Whereas the light would say, Thy night of thine light. Because nobody could ignite like he through Sweetie Petey. And can I talk to Steve? No, I'm sorry, you can't. Well, why? Is he better than letter for letter than everybody else? Because he's an executive at Universal Pictures? Does that mean he's better? You know how what the light says, if you put yourself on a higher shelf, you'll fail and derail, and your next lifetime you're impaled. You come back with a far, far, far from the one with Star of All Stars. Uglier waste face every other space and place, not as funny one way to make him take your money. You're not as good at honey or honey's in your life, and all that causes a hell of a lot of strife. So why wouldn't Steve want to pass this 111-year best test like Stephen Spielberg guts now Steven Spielberg again because even though he's jealous of me, sweet of Peter Powell from the light jumps in, you know, he wants to distribute our movie more than groovy. W would Steve be interested in, in, in distributing our movie for NBC? In other words, the real God Almighty in this modern day reality what would make him make more money than that. So you think Steve would be interested in having a bidding war with Stefan Spielberg? Sir, all I can do is take down your information. I'm sorry I can't help you any more than that. Okay, well tell him to call me. How long does it usually take to get a call back? Can you give me an estimation, a guesstimation? 
hours, days, months, years, which one? A, B, or C? Sir, I'm sorry, all I can do is pass the information along. Is that, would that be information one nation under fraud or under God? Which Thank one? you for calling. A or B? Remember, I don't remember saying that I was interested in God, or I thought, Jesus, or Jesus, or whatever. I think you're oh, just maybe a I have the wrong. Maybe, you just like to call me and harass me sometimes because you happen to get my, my cell phone number. Is this harassment? In other words, talking about the most amazing and interesting thing in the history of the world. Yeah. You call that harassment. It is. In other it words, is. you could it be is. on the phone it with is. anyone. Well, what's more despicable, deplorable, and horrible than horrible? My phone. Uh, you talk to me with my permission. And if I don't give my permission and you call me anyway, then that's harassment. So you're putting yourself on a higher shelf than God. That's what you're saying. I, I'm not putting myself on a higher you're shelf. You're not interested than God. in God here in this modern day. Everything else in your life well, no, is it, more it, interesting. You know, God is really, you know, God's pretty much able to handle this on his own. He doesn't need my help. No, well, he's doing it through me, sweetie, Petey. And so, well... Okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. And so this you is part of our documentary. Your... You're ignoring God. You hate okay, God here in this modern it. day. Go back and take your meds. Please, go back and take your meds. What's your call? Yes, hello, my dear. Um, Can I speak with the editor-in-chief? Uh, here. Pardon? And do you know what exactly what department within the editorial he's in? What like, the department? I don't know. Maybe you could tell me. Um, I'm I'm doing a. I want a story. Uh, I'm an investigator, and um, uh, I don't know if you noticed in the Olympics, <laughs> but the um, the athletes okay. and the announcers are being aged in real time while you're watching the TV. <laughs> They're getting black bags, you okay. know, like Muhammad Ali hit them. And so, what what uh, part of the company would be interested in that story? All right, not a problem. Let me go ahead and get you over to the newsroom, and I'll help, and I'll help you out. Thank you. Have a, you're welcome. Thank you for calling the Los Angeles Times. Have a great day. I am sorry. That's not a valid extension. Please try again. Call me a director call. Newsroom. Hello? Are you still there? Yeah, the newsroom. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. Wow, one moment, I'll get that number for you. The newsroom. The newsroom isn't open today. No, they haven't been open at all today. They're not doing we news. Know, like a, they're not doing... You know, they're, not looking, but, they're not looking for news anymore. Well, I mean, they are, but do you know of a specific person you need to speak with? Well, I don't want to talk to any persons. I've been talking to persons... For six years, I want to talk to a person, a hunt, and the one only smart, and the one only hard. I want to talk to someone who wants to chart their course with the one only source with zero remorse. Do you have anyone there like that? Who's not well, jealous of me, that cat in the hat? Huh? I can double check for, I can double check for you. Yeah, let me know if there's anyone there who's not a rat a tat 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah, one moment. Okay. I have a number and I am going to get you transferred right over. I do want to thank you for calling and you have yourself a wonderful day, okay? I will. I am sorry. That's not a valid... Hey, how you doing? Who's this? It's Keenan. How are you? Hey, Keenan. How you doing? My name is Bobby. Bobby, uh... Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Okay. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, listen, uh, I know you're watching the Olympics. Everybody into sports is watching the Olympics down here, you know. In my um, yeah. at Louis Pizzeria, anybody, buddy. Anyway, we're not we're not stupid. Right in front of our eyes, we're watching these announcers and the even those sixteen year old girls over there on the TV for all the world to see. And guess what? They're getting black bags under their eyes in real time. In other words, these announcers today it starts out with no black bags, and then they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What's going on over there in London? Is there a, an epidemic going over there? You know, the flu is it? The black ballless flu or something? The black eye flu? What kind of flu is that? Is that or is that a clue from the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one and only way in this modern day? What do you think? That's because they're working around the clock and not getting any sleep. 
Yeah, but not getting any sleep, you don't get that. In, all, in, other, in other words, you see it happening right before your eyes. In other words, it's never happened in the history of the world. I get very tired and all my buddies, Louie, Bobby, Anthony, you know, uh, everybody down here at Louie's Pizza, we, we get tired, we work around the clock 24-7. You know what I mean? So yeah. us, we think it's something sent from heaven. What do you think? You think it's just being tired? I seriously think like the Olympics are two weeks and every four years and they're just going to give it their all and they're not going to sleep and just be too nervous and the broadcasters are going to be around the clock reporting it and worrying about things. It's just going to be a unique level of stress. Yeah, but those 16-year-old girls, they, they, they get good night's sleep. They even was asking them while they were being interviewed, how would you sleep? And they said, we sleep like a rock. You know what I oh, mean? Of course they're going to say that. Of course they're going to well, say that well, for the media. Well, how, well, how come... In other words, I, I've known tired people my whole life. You know, I've lived yeah, a long yeah, time, and like I never saw anyone be... get black bags like they got hit by Muhammad Ali in real time. Yeah. In other words, right before your eyes, they're getting black bags. That doesn't happen. In other words, you're, you're, when, when you think about common sense, you're talking about something that's not common, and I'm talking about something that's, well, common. In other words, common sense on my end, not on your end. In other words, you're saying that people all of a sudden, while you're looking at them, get black bags and I'm saying that's impossible you don't just get black bags so be honest with me what's going on over there is it God yeah, in this modern day good. in other words I've been reading yeah. that site that piece of shit sweeter Peter Palpin you know the light God jumps in you know that fucking piece of shit yeah. Peter Palpin you know everyone hates that piece of shit because you know we're all jealous <laughs> because we know it's true but let's believe we got to make believe we don't think it's true you know what I'm saying and so yeah. you know you think you think that's what's going on? That God is is hammering and stammering and bimmering and bammering and clamoring all of us despicables and deplorables and horribles because we're so jealous because he made sweeter Peter Palpin so adorable. Isn't that what's going on? A yes or B no? No. No. No, I don't think so. So what do you think's going on? I don't on? think so. How can sweeter Powder Palpin all of a sudden superhuman with his brain spanking new albumin be moving faster than every master of sheer and other disaster in a cooler form out of the norm than Bruce Lee and Muhammad Ali. Can you tell me, sweetie Petey, that? No, I can't. I don't know. I don't you don't know, know how Al Capali could do that at 55 years old with no mold on his face, disgraced? Is that commonplace no. to be faster than every master of sheer and other disaster at 55? Is that from no sleep too? Or did he get too much sleep? Little Bo Peep. He got just the right amount. You got the right amount of sleep, and if you yeah. get the right amount of sleep, you could all of a sudden be faster than every master of sheer and other disaster. Right, the cooler form out of the I gotta go. I gotta get this other line. But you have a good day, dude. Is that uh, what? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> yes, hello. Um, who am I speaking with? Uh, this is the uh, news assistant here. What can I do for you? You're a news assistant. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Um, listen. Um. I think it's international news because it has to do with um, the Olympics, but it's not sports oriented, but it's about, um, you know, all the athletes, does, um, well, the American athletes in particular that I've seen, and also all the announcers while they're interviewing, um, you know, I'll give you an uh, ample sample example, hopefully not to trample. Um, you know, those, um, there's three or four girls, of the, um, gymnasts, and all of a sudden, you're watching them, and as you're watching them, they're all of a sudden getting black bags under their eyes in real time. Do, do you know if that's the one only divine and the one only sublime doing that humanly impossible shine? Or are they shiners? You know what a shiner is? Have you ever heard of Will Schreiner before? Will Schreiner didn't hit those girls to unfurl like that, did he? Was that the, the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way in this modern day? doing that humanly impossible facts and tests. Does that scare the light into the ugly smugglies and fugglies at the New York slime? Hey, yes, it'd be no. What's the light going to have to do to finally reach the despicables and the deplorables and the horribles and the immorables just because they're insanely jealous because God made sweetie Petey so humanly impossible, adorable? Do you know? Can any of you be being talking rhyme 24 hours a day, seven days a week? 365 days a year like this here, and every word makes sense without any pretext. Can anybody at New York College of Knowledge do this kiss up here on adulterated bliss all day with this filet? Hey, yes or be no, in your humble opinion. Don't tell me you don't hear me because your voice recorder heard me say, 
international news desk and it read it back international news desk so does this stress you out because now you know I know what all of you were thinking about <laughs> we know it's God we know it's God and we know we're gonna get 222 bad man sunlight <laughs> but we just walked to a story of more than any glory <laughs> Cause we're so jealous of the skin. <laughs> and he jumps in. <laughs> Even though we know it's the most amazing and interesting thing in the history of the world. And so the, are you ready to unfurl that story of more than any glory on your newspaper, all part of this humanly impossible caper? A yes or B no, y'all. Cat got your tongue? Are you mad because I'm a sprung chinkin finger licking good? <laughs> Do you like the way God teases the sleezes through peases? Who's peases? Who's peases? Who's the one and only Wiz? Who's the one and only Wiz's kid? Who's a who's a kidder? Who's an itter? Who's a gadditter? What's a gadditter? Excuse me, do you know what a gadditter is? Excuse me, sir. Do you know what a gadditter is? What's a gadditter? Well, that's God being a hitter, a gadditter. Oh, or is it God plus glitter, a gadditter? Or is it God plus kitty litter? Because he turned Petey into a kid, and so that's kitty litter. And well, it's littering the filthy and the stealthy. What's a stealthy? Or is it stealthy? Is that it? He made Petey Sweetie so humanly impossible stealthy. <laughs> he's not wealthy yet, <clears throat> much to his more than any not regret, cause he loves his life with zero strife. He loves the way the light teases, the sleezes, peases. <laughs> ah, he said that before. That can't be the one and only forevermore. He wouldn't score something twice. Not nice, and the one only slice precise. <laughs> that wasn't that clever lever. That's not the one and only clever lever. What's your endeavor over there? Are you like those in Endeavolo? Endeavolo? You know Endeavolo Agency? You know the William Morris Endeavor Agency? We're agents for unholy one in Los Angeles. And so we're above God. Um, yes, hello, Lisa. Uh, my name is Dr. Rostowski. Um, may I speak with uh, someone in charge of uh, the cover story? A cover story? Is there a particular story that you're looking for, or...? No, it's a story I have. I've been doing a, doing a documentary on a, a film that's been filmed for the last year by the... Uh, it's funded by the Darnells. Uh, Chris Darnell is a, a, <clears throat> he's a um, businessman that went to Harvard, or the uh, Harvard Business School. He makes millions and millions of dollars. And, so he funded this film. Um, right now, Steven Spielberg's company, you know, um, Marvin Levy over there, has been the head of marketing for, uh, what, like 20 years or more. And so obviously, uh, you know, okay. if Steven Spielberg's company is, is involved in this film, and also, um, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot the name of the company, but it's the biggest marketing company in the, in the United States. Actually, in the world, it's a multi-billion dollar company. Um, and the COO of that company, um, DeLuca, is his name. And so he's involved in the film, too. And so um, I, I, I'd like well, to speak with someone question. about the cover story. What's your name, my dear? Oh, my name is Lisa. Um, oh, Lisa. Normally, how we submit our stories are either by email or by, uh, you can write in. Uh, today is a non-publishing day, so there is a good chance that you're... Uh, it, even if I transfer you, you're more than likely have to leave a message. Um, so, what is this university then? What's the, does this have to do with Catholic or Christianity? Um, yes, it does. What, what is it? Um, what? Hello? Um, could you hold one moment, please? For what? Um, I'm going to um, connect you to, um, Someone else who can help you with. Hey, can I ask you a quite Can I ask you one question? Yes. Um. Go ahead. Have you ever heard of that guy, that scumbag sweeter Peter Palp in the Night of the Light? Um. No. Sorry, I haven't. Really. Listen. 
between you and me, he does 29 humanly impossible things. And he, and he says it's God, but me and you, well, you don't know, but it's the devil doing the 29 impossible things. It can't be God. But what puzzles me is you can't quarrel with any of his morals. And, and when you listen to him, every word makes sense without any pretense. And, and it appears that no human being could climb the fences that he does in a humanly impossible way in fillet. In his ballet of words, he says they're humming and coming from the one only Skybird. And he does them all in rhyme in real time as a humanly impossible fillet. And so mm -hmm. um, it puzzles me, sweetie Petey, because I, I can't understand how anyone wouldn't want to love the one and only commander and one and only demander in this modern day with his humanly impossible fillets. Or maybe it really is the devil here to... But why would the devil say everything moral and point out all the immoral things? In other words, if God loves all his children the same from whence we came, like it says in the Bible, which this guy calls the libel Bible, then wouldn't everybody have game like Michael Jordan and every girl ramble like Naomi Campbell? Maybe it's true, life's a gamble if you can't scramble in the one only smart and the one only heart. Maybe you don't get away with murder, rape, and arson and any other sin just because you accept a human being named Jesus as Lord and Savior instead of the one only God Almighty who created that man named Jesus. Would you A, agree or B, disagree with that? Or do you think if you accept a human being named Jesus, you could rape like an ape to get in shape and burn to earn and kill for the thrill to pay your bills as long as you really, when, when you say, Jesus, please forgive me, and then you could do whatever you want on this jaunt. Is that true? That makes sense. Huh? That makes sense to me. It makes sense that you could do whatever you want. You could kill for the... In other words, you could no. go into any prison system and you could do it, you know... Um, as long as you, no matter how many people you killed, as long as you really mean it and you ask a man named Jesus for forgiveness, then he'll forgive you for all the mean, evil things you did, right? Um, yeah. Really? And then, so, if God loves all his children the same from whence we came, how come me and you could see, but someone down the street can't see? They're blind. You don't think that's because they bludgeoned someone's eyes out in their last lifetime? You think God loves him the same as they love us? If they're blind and can't see? What if they're blind and can't see, and they, and they can't hear either? And what if they um, have no legs and no arms? And, and uh, does God love them the same? Or maybe they chop someone's arms off, chop someone's legs off, bludgeon someone's ears out, and bludgeon someone's eyes out in their last lifetime. Doesn't that make a lot more sense without any pretense? A yes or B no, in your humble opinion. Yes. Huh? What, you're, what, what you're saying makes sense, yes. So, are you following what the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way says in this modern day? Or are you following that book, the libel Bible? Um, well, I'm following the one and only. You are? Unbelievable. Holy shit. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, you're blowing my mind. So, um, well, that's great with... <laughs> Oh, debate. Your fate is sealed with the one only pure kiss of unadulterated bliss. So maybe there's other priests that are uh, following the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way instead of Jesus. Huh? Yes, that makes sense. Wow. What's your name? Daniel. Well, wow, Daniel, you just made my probably the second happiest day of my life in the last six years. I love that. You just made this the happiest day of my life in the last six years. Well, I'm glad um, I could do that. Well, look at the power you have. So, um, well, um, can I talk to anyone else over there? I'm sorry, I'm there's no one currently available. Okay, well, that was great. Anyway, I'm happy I talked to you. And you'll come on Worldwide TV and tell about this. I, and I just recorded this pure kiss of unadulterated bliss, so... This is going to be around forever and ever. How clever an endeavor of you for being true blue and the one only smart and the one only heart. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it's Pete. Yeah, hello. Um, can I talk to uh, Father Leo? Uh, we actually, we're, we're a PR friend that represents Father Leo. If you want, I can put you in contact with the account lead. With what? We're a PR firm that represents Father Leo. Well, do you if you'd like, I can put you in and can put you in contact with somebody who can get in touch with Father Leo. Can I get in touch with Father Leo? No. No. In other words, be honest with me. 
is that fatherly to, in other words, he's supposed to be this great religious person who wouldn't put himself on a higher shelf, because do you think it's right to put yourself on a higher shelf just because, you know, you got some degree that says you're a father? So you're too good for people to get in touch with you? Tell you the truth, sir, I, I, I can't speak to morality, but we represent media relations, so anyone that wants to contact him about that kind of stuff, we kind of fought that relationship. Well, well I want to hire him to come on our, uh, our, to do a documentary. That sounds great. We're, we, we schedule those type of appearances, so he's just, a, he's just a busy guy, so he has a lot of requests. Yeah, well, we request, uh, we want him to be on a documentary. We'll pay him whatever he wants. Okay, great. I, I can put you in touch with uh, account lead if you'd like. Account lead? Mm-hmm. What's account lead mean? Account lead. The father lead of an account that we kind of deal with, so we... Oh, okay, what's that number? Person in I, he, he works in the office. I can transfer to him right now. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, can I have your name? Yes, yeah, Sweeter Peter Palpin. Okay, one second. Well, you're in the you're doing this business to make money, right? Uh, yeah. You work there to make money, right? Yes, I do. But you want to make it, and so everyone would have loved to have a million dollars, wouldn't they? Sure. Especially for one minute of their time, right? Uh, yes, sir. So for our documentary, we want you to come. We'll come to you. We'll fly there. We're being funded by the Dar Darnells in Boston. And we'll fly there, and you sit on a modern-day lie detector test. And if you pass when you say that when you were just talking to me now, and you said the guy wasn't in, if you pass, you get a million dollars for that. And so would you like? You but sure? if you fail, it'll be two hundred and twenty-two bad, mad, sad lifetimes with the ugliest face waste, every other space and place, no money and no honey, and all those lifetimes from the one only divine, the one only sublime, that for God damn sure is doing these humanly impossible rhymes in real time. And so let me get your name and number so we could do that. Sure. Can I, can I put you on hold for one second? Yes. We'll schedule you for the documentary, and uh, if you pass, you get a million dollars. If you fail, 220 to Ben. Huh? What is this documentary concerning, sir? It's uh, not concerning, because con is a lie. That's what most documentaries are, lies. This is... Love cerning. In other words, it love cerns to love the light, to love the bright, and the one only way in this modern day through the skin of Sweeter Peter Palpin. And what but also like not through the skin of Sweeter Peter Palpin. What? All right, I'm, I'm actually going to have to go. If, if you would like to... Wait, let me get your name. You said you want to be on a documentary. What's your name? Oh, I, I never said I would like to be in a documentary. You, you said you want to make a million dollars, and you, you just have to sit on a lie detector and say that you are... Uh, no, I did say I'd like to make a million dollars, but I did not say I would like to do it by being in your documentary. Well, you, you realize you don't want 220 to bad mats at lifetimes, obviously. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, Jackie. Jackie? Yeah. Jackie, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, yeah. I can't hear you that good on my phone. Can you, you can you hear me good? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I have a news story for the nightly news. Um, okay. Um, you can send it. I have an email. You can send it to, and it will go to the executive producer. No, but I'm old-fashioned. I want to talk to someone because I have the most amazing story. Whoever pays me the most money is going to get the story. Okay, but the person is available, so the next best way would be to email. Well, can you talk to them for me if I tell you the story? Um, sure, what is... The story is, um, well, it's two parts. Number one, have you been watching the Olympics? Yes. Well, have you noticed, like, um, the, the gymnasts like those little girls, they're 16 years old, and as they're talking, and also like some of the runners, the swimmers, a lot of them, as they're talking, they're growing black bags under their eyes in real time. In other words, think of every story you've ever heard. Hung up. Wonder why. <laughs> yeah, hi, Bravo. Can you connect me with the New Jersey Housewives show? Um, no, I'm sorry, I don't have that, um, the number to that. Oh, can I talk to 
um, one of the executives at Bravo? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't give out uh, numbers to our executives. Is there a question you have or anything? Yeah. What's your position over there? Uh, front desk. Front desk? Uh, what do you think of the one and only best of all best in this modern day aging creeples and non-creeples on worldwide TV for all the world to see, like at the Olympics, putting black bags, humanly impossible real-time tags on those Olympic athletes. What do you think of that? Does that scare the Wait, shit I'm out of you? Yeah, what does that do to you? Does that scare the light into you, knowing God is aging people in real time right before your eyes on worldwide TV for all the world to see? Oh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. Um, why can't you answer? Why can't you answer that question? <laughs> Is that a hard question? Is that hard? Is that why you're? Is that why you're uh, into the Bukitabata? Yes, this is the Brattleboro retreat. That's correct. Yeah, it's the place kind of like one flew over the cuckoo's nest, right? For yeah. Vermonters. Yes. Yes. Yeah. May I speak um, with um, Osgood Three? Yeah. May I help you? Yes, hello, Patty. Um, I'm doing a documentary, um, and I'd like to speak with um, the psychologist there, or psychiatrist, more preferably the psychiatrist first. Oh, um, geez. I, can you hang on for just a minute? Yes. Yes, hello, Bill. Are you a psychiatrist? I'm I'm not a psychiatrist, sir. Are you a no, but I uh, uh, but I could um, I could take a message for you. Um, yes, and, I'm doing uh, a documentary. What's your position there at um at this Sir, I, what I could do at this at this point is I, I could I could take a message and ask and ask the clinical manager to call you back. Uh, are you a little crazy because uh Usually people respond to questions they're asked if who, who aren't nuts. Okay, sir, may, may I take a message? I could take a message, as I said, and I could ask the clinical manager to call you back. Just, can you tell me your position there? Uh, sir, I'm just going to ask just one more time. I, I mean, I'm just going to tell you, I you're part of my documentary right now while Kapow, and you're not coming off too well. It doesn't sound like you swell on the one only smart and the one only heart. All right, thank you, sir. You have a good day. Nate? Yes, hello, Nate. Nate um, I'm doing a documentary in, um, on psychiatry, and so um, I'd like to speak with um, some psychiatrists at this mental hospital. Um, you are a psychiatrist yourself? No, I'm a filmmaker. You're a filmmaker, okay. Um, hmm. Think of who I could transfer you to. Um, and are you looking to make an appointment time to sit down with the psychiatrist? No, I'd like to speak with him right over the phone. Okay. Well, let me transfer you over to our medical director. Uh, they should be able to help you further. One moment, please. Okay, thank you. Sure. I'm on vacation and will return Monday, August 13th. Please direct administrative queries to Dr. Robin Ostrander, the medical director. Outpatient queries especially for patients, please refer to Anna Marsh Behavior Care Center, 258 Thank you. Yes, hello, doctor. I'm doing a documentary on psychiatry, and I'd love to speak with you as a part of my uh, documentary. Um, I can be reached to area code 802-222-0589. That's 802-222-0589. So please give me a call at your earliest convenience. Um, my phone number, again, is 802-222-0589. Thank you. Um, yes, hello. Um, can I have the nurse's uh, office? The nurse's office? Yes. Which? You know, in, the, in, in the facility where people are behind bars in the hospital. So you need the forensic unit. Oh yeah, forensic. All right, hold on one second.
Frantic Al. Yes, hello Al. How are you today? Okay. What's up? I'm doing a documentary on sweeter Peter Powell, better known as the skin, the love, the love, the love, the bright, and the one on the way just jumps in. And, um, you know, we understand he was there in the forensic unit in Rhode Island. Yeah, we can't give any information out. If for any information to be given out, if a patient by that name was here, they would have had to send a release to the hospital. Well, that's me. I'm sweeter Peter Palpin, so I don't need a release to okay. call about myself. Yeah. Do a documentary but, but, on myself. But even, even again, I don't put myself on a higher shelf, even though I'm alone. Yeah. Human being. But even again, even even, even 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 why do you talk? Even have access to your records. Why do you, you talk over to... me? Why do you talk over me, sweetie Pete? Because I'm trying to, because I ain't got time to be spending a whole lot of time. I'm trying to give you the information. What's your position you there to... at the Eleanor Slater Hospital? Where you need to go to get What's your What's your position over there at the Eleanor Slater Hospital? I am a goodbye. Call medical records if you need it. What's your position over there? More than clear there. What over there? At Eleanor Slater. They don't want to cater. To cater. <laughs> your humble opinion, because you work there at Eleanor Slater Hospital in the forensic unit. It would it be actually? Important? I don't work in the forensic unit. But you work at the, in the unit. I don't work anywhere near the unit. Actually, I'm just the information desk. Okay. You're the information desk, one nation, hopefully under God, not fraud. Hopefully you want to applaud God who's here in this modern day, in this humanly impossible way in filet. In other words, you knew that ballet of words was humming and coming from the one on the sky, but would you A, agree or B, disagree with the soliloquy? I plead the fifth. You plead the fifth because you're not supposed to let Sweetie Petey know what he obviously knows because he's exposed, right? Again, I plead the fifth. Okay. <laughs> well, would you, in your humble opinion, what would be more accurate to call the ward in, a ward in, or a ward sin? In your humble opinion. What well, are you smoking? No, but what, what am I smoking? I don't be smoking, man. You don't be smoking, man. You never smoking. You don't even token. Are you joking? Only, who's the one and only token? Who's the one and Are only you? that could be joking like this, kiss a pure, unadulterated bliss, non-stop, pop after pop? Is that the one only cop at the top that can drop it with this humanly impossible, non-stop with kit all day with this humanly impossible rhyme king and chime king filet where every word makes sense without any pretense? Can any human being climb this fence, even someone from Harvard or Yale? Can any of them sail like this, kiss a pure, unadulterated bliss? Can any of them walk in braille? You know what it means to walk in braille, to walk blindfolded and folded and folded. Does that scold the despicables and the deplorables and the horribles and the ill morables? Because I made Sweetie Petey so humanly impossible and adorable. Is that what's going on here in the undear and unclear like never before? People hate the one and only forevermore because they're insanely jealous of he, <laughs> Sweetie Petey. Is that what's going on from Sweetie Peter Palpon? Hey, yes, it'd be no. Yo. Joe. Wow, well, that's so clever. show. That's clever. Well, you're clever. You're clever. Forever. Who, who, who's doing the 29 humanly impossible things? Is it the one and only king of all kings? Or a sweeter Peter Palp and all of a sudden superhuman with his brain speaking to all humans? And it's him doing the 29 impossible things. A or B? A, Peter, sweeter, superhuman. Or B, it's the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way in this modern day. And if you answer the wrong answer to the one and only answer, and the one and only answer to cancer, what's cancer? Is cancer people in Cranston that are so sick that they put money in a basket to have the skin of sweeter Peter Palpin put in a casket? And so we call it cancer because those worse than any cancer and the dread of the head led by the huge of the huge, tiny little egos, their envies, their jealousies, their unfriendlies, the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one and only way is true and utter arch enemy. Are you able to admit it's the one and only wicked? Are you going to say it's Peter Palpin, superhuman, with his brain spanking to all human, doing the 29 impossible things? Which one? A or B? I think, I think what you're looking for is admissions. Admissions? Yes. Oh, Hold on one second. You can't admit that it's the one and only wicked. Is that what's going on here? This is Joyce. 
Yes, hello, Joyce. I'm doing a documentary, which I prefer to call a sockumentary, a sockumentary on Sweeter Peter Palp and the skin, the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way just jumps in. And he was uh, a patient, and um, your uh, <clears throat> doctors over there didn't pick up all the humanly impossible hints and mints. Or maybe they did, but they were so insanely jealous of he, Sweetie Petey, that they wanted to keep them in, him in there for a year and a half. And they were so pissed mm -hmm. off because I turned him into a humanly impossible calf. In other words, he wasn't a cow. Oh, 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 whoa, how can Sweetie Petey be so clever, lever in that humanly impossible way in fillet? Are you picking up these obvious clues? How do you peruse in one only smart and the one only heart? And so we want to talk to you for our documentary, our documentary. What's your name, my dear? Hang up, call her up. Is it because I turned Sweetie Petey into a brand making new pop? <laughs> Good morning, can I talk to Dr. Talk to Con, please? Huh? You're calling the wrong number. Who's calling, please? My name is Peter. Dr. Talk Con is not at this number. You want to call 462 2119? Hold on, 462. Two one one nine. Doesn't he come in? One. Pardon? Back. Four six two two one one nine. One next. Back away. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Four six two two one one nine. Yes. Four zero one area code. But but isn't this the forensic unit? Yes, it is. But Doctor Tatika is not on the unit right now. But he comes there every day, right? Yes, sir. First of all, I don't even know who I'm speaking with. You said Paul. That doesn't, you know, give me the right to give out information. I didn't say my name was Paul. Where did you get that? I said my name was Paul. All right. I'm, okay, I'm sorry. But um, the number I'm giving you now is my SRN up there. You call and he will give you any information on Dr. Tatican, okay? Okay, what's the name of that lady who works with the, uh, in the gym with the gray hair? The lady in the gym. Could it be MJ? MJ, yeah. Is MJ there? <laughs> No. And how about the uh, therapist that works with Dr. Tark? No, no. Call the number I gave you and ask for everybody up there, okay? What's the name of the psychologist that works with Dr. Tark Sir, call that number I gave you and they'll give you the information. What's your name, my dear? Yes, hello, Chris. How are you over there? Hi, fine, thank you. Who's calling, please? Uh, this is Sweeter Peter Palpin, better known as the skin, the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way just jumps in. I'm looking for uh, Dr. Talk to Can. I'm doing a documentary on Sweetie Petey when he was over there at the Eleanor Slater forensic unit. Oh, Dr. Talk to Can's not available right now. Oh, do you know when he'll be available for this documentary, this documentary, this documentary? Um, probably sometime after two. Do you think Dr. Talk to Can can be as clever as Sweeter Peter Palpan? Well, I can't answer that. I honestly don't know. In your humble opinion, do you know anybody who could talk like the cat in the hat or Dr. Seuss or Mother Goose 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year like this here and every word makes sense without any pretense? Can any human being that you know climb this humanly impossible fence? A yes or B? No. No, what? I don't believe so. No, I don't believe so. And so in your humble opinion, would you call the person that could do something that's humanly impossible, in other words, something that no human being has ever done before in the history and her story of this godforsaken planet, would you call him nuts or would you call him gifted? Well, I would call someone like that needing assistance from a psychiatric professional. You would? Yes, I would. Well, you're part of this documentary. If he could walk blindfolded from his doorstep to a car parked a mile away, spinning the entire time, or walk through a psychiatrist's office in L.A. in a humanly impossible blindfolded filet, would you say he needs a psychiatrist or would you say he's gifted? I would say he absolutely needs a psychiatrist. If you're talking about someone um, that, you're, that you are uh, aware of, then I would say this person needs psychiatric help and that you should probably call a psychiatrist. In other words, someone who could do 29 humanly impossible things that are amazing and can make millions and millions of dollars doing it. You think they need a psychiatrist? 
Absolutely. Or does the person who, like you, who can't be true blue and the one only smart and the one only the heart, who can't admit what's in front of their ears and in front of their opened eyes and open ears more than any clear, you don't think you need a psychiatrist and a psychologist knowing you're going to get your next 22 lifetimes with the ugliest face waste every other space and place, no money and no honey because you can't be in the one only smart, the one only heart and say what's in front of your ears and open eyes? No, the only thing I can suggest to you, I need to end the call, bliss. but Are I would angry? suggest to you that you would call a psychiatrist. Are you angry because okay. Senior Peter Palpin is the Thank same you. guy jumps in? Hey, yes, I do know. Yes, hello, my dear. Is uh, Sean Clink available? One moment. Hello, Bill. How are you today? Uh, good, sir. May I help you? Um, yes, may I speak with Sean Clink? May I ask who's calling, please? Yes, my name is Sweeter Peter Palpin, better known as the skin, the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way just jumps in in this modern-day reality like no time in the history and her story of this godforsaken planet. No human being has this humanly impossible wicked. Would you A, agree or B, disagree with this soliloquy? Sir, I, I asked you for your name. And I said my name, Sweeter Peter Palpin. What's your name? Bill, right? I hope you're thrilled that um, I want to talk to one of your patients when you're picking up these humanly impossible hints and mints. Okay, sir, I may need, I'm not, not going to confirm or deny uh, a patient's presence here. Well, I want to speak but with if, him. That, if that is, if that that's is, that's his if right. That is your, that's his right, and I'm recording this that, if, conversation if on my end. If that is your, is, your but is that is that is your name? Your name is again. Please, can you spell that for me? Peter Palpin. P A L P I N. Palpin. P A L P I N. Hold on one second, please. But all. But it doesn't make sense. In other words, you know he's there, and I know he's there, so why can't I speak with him? Sure, I, this is this is a hospital here, and I can neither confirm nor deny. But if you if you want to leave, I can love firm. In other words, not confirm, because con is a lie, and you're conning me. In other words, you know he's there, and I know he's there, so let me speak with him. It's his right. Hold on, please. right in front of me, in other words, nothing, and all of a sudden, black bags at 11 minutes to 3. Is that a metal 11 sent from heaven, in your humble opinion? I'm sorry, I can't, I, I'm I, I having think it might be a metal 11 sent from heaven. You know, I've been watching that despicable, deplorable, horrible, immorable soul out of control. Sweeter Peter Palpin, the skin, the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one way just jumps in all the way from heaven. And I think it's a crock of shit. I don't believe in the one only wicked. But I'm, I'm shocked and rocked, and I'm even ticked off. Did, uh, did, did, uh, I saw those black bags, and it makes me sad, because now I know there really is a one and only dad. He, he's down here like never before, the one and only forevermore, to settle up the score. And we'll never win the war with God. We'll never win the war against God. Will we? Will we ever end, end the war against God? Not a fraud. Thank you for calling the audience information department for ABC Television Network, Disney Junior, ABC Family, Disney Channel, Disney XD, Radio Disney, and SoapNet. Please listen carefully to the following message. GMA. Yeah, hi, um, good morning, America, or is it good afternoon, America? This is good morning, America. Oh, is, is um, can I talk to, uh... Hold on one second. Can I speak with the booking department? Uh, sure, I, uh, in regards to? Um, Sweeter Peter Palpin. Uh, he does 29 humanly impossible visual or auditory entertained king things. And so obviously, everyone would want to have that cat in the hat on worldwide TV for all the world to see. In other words, it's amazing and even stargazing and even more than any blaze king. And you could even ring a ding ding grand of the mouth of okay. Luther King. And you could walk blindfolded. Hello? Is this the booking department for uh, Good Morning America? Yes, can I help you? Yes, hi. Um, uh, well, I just wanted to let you know, I, I love today uh, the show. 
with Vanessa Williams and those two uh, um, interviewers, how, how were they, they were able to put black bags under their eyes in real time. That was amazing and interesting to me, Sweetie Peter. Well, thank you. I couldn't believe that. Well, actually, I could believe it because I see it all the time from the one only divine and one only sublime. It is not mm -hmm. doing these humanly impossible real-time rhymes. In other words, I imitate right. that skin, sweet or Peter Falcon. I, I have this clever lever. No human being can do what I do. And so I want to come on your show, yo, and no human being can flow like me. And I don't, I do Let me get you over to Good Afternoon America. That's where this was this afternoon. This is Good Morning America. Oh, well, what about Good Morning America? I'm not good enough for your show, yo. You don't want the one well, let me get you over to the flow and the one only humanly possible show on Good Morning King America, or is it Good Morning America, or is it Good Morning Hysteria, or is it Good Morning Bedaria? What's Bedaria? Do you know what Bedaria is? Bedaria? Who scares you? Does the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one and only way scared you? Hello, Rachel, why'd you hang up on me? I thought that was mean to do to me, sweetie pea. I didn't hang up, I transferred you over to the booking department. Oh, oh, well, uh, I didn't get booked. Can you book me again over there? Yes, hold on. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, hi, this is Danelle from the DA's office in Dallas, returning your call. Um, yes, I'm on with the DeSoto, uh, Police, can you hold on one second? Hold on. Uh, you, can, you can call me back. What's your name, Denise? Hold uh, on. Let me get your phone number then. Okay. Yes. 214. 614. 653. 653. 3610. 3610. Thank you, my mm -hmm. dear. You're welcome. Bye-bye.